Stop what you're doing. Stop, stop everything that you're doing. My hero wants justice too. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So sorry. Let me just give you a little, no, let, let me not look my hero wants justice too. This is happening. Let's just get right into it. All right. Cause I don't like doing all the, all the weird side footing. Let's get right into it. Now I was going to start this video off right away by telling you I'm getting ready for a flight. So if I sound like I'm really rushing through this video, it's because I'm literally getting packed to go to the airport to go on a uh, four day vacation with my girlfriend. So sorry. Um, so let's talk about this real quick though, that I, I didn't think I was gonna have to talk about. My Hero Academia wants Justice 2 for PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. I would, I would also assume for, uh, Steam, for PC. Uh, but so far that's what's getting announced. Uh, we're, we're getting My Hero wants Justice 2! This is, this is, I, I never expected this to be honest. Because they stopped giving us DLC for the game, um... I didn't expect this, so I'm kind of at a loss for words. So we're getting the news from Nini at Nini Spangle. Such a such a weird at Nini. Uh, I follow uh, Nini for for news. Nini Yanko, uh, a couple of good uh, sources for scans in the community. I follow uh, both of those. Uh, I, I don't even what whatever. And so we're these and four. We're learning that we're going to be seeing. I mean, you see it right here. Let me get rid of. I'm sorry that I'm very unorganized right now. Like I said, I am in a mad dash. We got Deku, right? And Jisaki! Yeah! Wait a minute! Sorry that I'm yelling in your ear. Look! Looking a little weird in the face, sure. But look, this is, this is, this is season four stuff. This is awesome. We, we didn't know we were getting this. Come on. Who expected this? So we have My Hero Wants Justice uh, 2. There's the logo. So it's confirmed it's not DLC or anything. It is a second game. Um, and we have... I wonder how much they're going to change the game. It seems like what they're trying to do with One's Justice, I would assume, is not... I'm, I don't really want to give it the Storm comparison, like the Naruto Storm comparison, but I'm just saying as far as having, like, yearly games or uh, maybe bi-yearly games, it seems like we are going to get a My Hero Academia game every year or at least every time there's a new season of the anime, which it probably is going to be every year, right? Um, so this is really interesting because this lets us know that they're definitely giving a really hard push for My Hero Academia. I mean, obviously the wood, it's a really high selling manga in, in Jump. It's, uh, it's super popular everywhere. It's really accessible. So you see why they would give it such a big push, but it's just funny to see that we got a whole nother game. I wonder like what the story mode is going to be like, right? Like, are we going to have an actual story mode with actual boss fights and actual, like, what are they going to do? Are, like, because the first game in a game series sometimes they don't go too big on it because it's kind of like it's kind of like they're testing it out right like they're just seeing mm, we'll make this game we'll throw some characters that people want in it we'll put it together and if people really like it or it sells pretty well then we'll make a second game or we'll, we'll put a lot more effort uh, a lot more effort into it that's pretty much what happened with uh jojo all-star battle and that leaded to well that led to us getting jojo eyes of heaven all-star battle had a smaller roster um it covered all of the story of JoJo to a certain degree, but the story mode was a lot of text menus. It wasn't, you know what I mean? There wasn't really a lot going on there. Um, but JoJo Eyes of Heaven has a fully fleshed out story with all the various different characters coming together and fighting Dio from this novel where you get, it's ridiculous, right? So I feel like, uh, we'd be very blessed if that was to happen here. I really don't feel like they can get away with just doing another text-based, you know, like even just that comic booky style story mode. They definitely have had time to come up with cutscenes and all sorts of stuff. There's definitely some material. I need to see something pretty here, all right? Like, some of the, the ults in the game were pretty pretty. Some of them were flashy. I need to see some Cyber Connect 2, you know, Naruto fla uh, boss battle stuff going on here. Because it's really some epic stuff that we're going to be seeing uh, in Season 4. It really is some just epic, ridiculous stuff. I'm sorry if you guys are watching this and you aren't, uh, you're like anime onlys. Because, you know, I mean, obviously Deku and Overhaul are going to fight, right? I'll be very careful not to say too much. But just the scale of the battle here between Overhaul and, and Deku, there's, there's a lot that goes on. And the only thing that to me... I mean, I can't even say that because once Justice 1 did have stage obstacles and stuff, right? It looks like on this map, there's like actually rocks everywhere. And the floor is actually like destroyed and stuff. And, like, I wonder if this is, like, screenshots from a boss battle 
against Jisaki. Also, this coming out now means we're definitely getting a, a trailer for this at some point. I don't know what any upcoming events are. I, I doubt we would get a trailer for this at TwitchCon, right? Like that that I don't I don't think that's yeah. Um so Something has to be coming up where we're going to be getting, oh, obviously the premiere, right? Like, the premiere is coming up, so they're just going to air the trailer for the game during the, the anime's premiere on October 12th. That's really smart. Okay, so that's pretty much what I think is going to happen. Uh, I don't really know how much I could speak on this because I I went to E3 originally to play uh, the, the demo for Once Justice before it was out. I went to E3. Uh, Bandai invited me out there, were, and we we went to the back of the booth and played a bunch, and I recorded a bunch, and um, it it definitely left an interesting impression on me. It's not like, it's not like every other fighting game. It's definitely this weird kind of fighting game. But the things that I didn't like about it were that it was really floaty, right? Let me move the scan out the way. It was really floaty. And just certain things didn't make sense. Like, the characters were pretty much flying, running up walls. It didn't make sense why characters are just running on walls. Like, just running up walls. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it was fun. It was cool. It's what we wanted in Storm. But it didn't make sense in My Hero. Um, so I feel like if they take time to really just focus more on making a game system that feels more like... You know, make all the characters... All the characters did feel unique. And they all did feel like they had their moves and their techniques. But personalize them a little more. Make it feel like... They're, they're very different. Not to just jump back to the JoJo All-Star Battle comparison, but in All-Star Battle, everyone has, like, their own kind of system, right? There's the stand system, and everyone's stands work in ways that are really, like, you know, if you are a fan of JoJo, they have all their moves, and they have specific weird things, like like little weird, even passive abilities and stuff like that. And I feel like that should definitely be the case in a My Hero game where you're trying to really reflect like all the different things about all these characters. And this game isn't really going to be like, I wouldn't assume it's going to be a super competitive game. Uh, so you don't have to worry about like, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like there's definitely a lot more that could have been done with uh, One's Justice. And hopefully here, just apart from the story mode and everything that, uh, that I just mentioned and cutscenes and stuff, hopefully here they do add some, you know, more depth to the gameplay, remove some of that floatiness, like, that that can go, you know what I mean? Speed up the gameplay a little bit, the game kind of plays a little slow, you know what I mean? Like, even when you're doing stuff, they just kind of look like they're moving a little slow sometimes. Um, and yeah, hope, and wait a minute, let's, we haven't even gotten to the, the core topic here. Mirio has to be in this game, right? You would assume. So we get to play as Mirio. So that means we're probably going to be able to play as the big three, right? Like, you got to play as Tamaki. How is he going to... How's that going to work? Who Who is he going to eat? Can he eat other people's... Uh, I don't know. How's You know what I mean? For his quirk to activate. Is he just going to be eating octopus and takoyaki on, like, from his uh from his pockets and eating that? I want... I'm, I am I just have, I haven't, I'm so excited you hear it in my voice, but I haven't even started to really think about all the characters that we're probably going to get. And that's why my little brain blast of, of me just losing my mind and hype just happened right there. Because we're going to get so many characters, aren't we? And I would assume, I would hope that the movie to some degree would influence the game. Right? Like, I would hope we would get characters, like nines from the movie I hope we would get. I hope we would get, um, Endeavor. I, th I think we're going to get Endeavor skin probably at the end of the season, probably. I would just, oh, geez. There's so much, right? Like, and it all depends on where the season ends. We're probably going to get Gentle. We're probably going to get Gentle and La Brava. That's going to be fun. That's going to be uh, really, really fun to play as. Super Saiyan Gentle, pretty much. Um, we got to get, oh, my God. Yeah, and I just said I wasn't going to spoil anybody either. That's crazy. Uh, oh, well, very minor. There's a lot of characters that I think we're going to get. Uh, Mirio, the core people that go into the uh, the hideout raid. Um, I think maybe a few members of the eight precepts will be playable. Definitely not all of them. Rappa probably would be um, one of them. And hmm, after that, Gentle. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that because that's pretty much where the season's going to end. So if you want to end it. There, but I feel I feel like there's a little room, all right. There's there's a part in my heart, okay. There's a part inside me right now th that is super excited because my favorite character, some of you might understand, is Hawks. Hawks is my favorite character. Now, some of you anime only, you you might not even know who that is, but you got a little peek of him on the recent My Hero Academia movie poster that was released. He's the guy in the top right, uh, you know, kind of looking looking over the corner. He's shaded in red, uh. That's that's Hawks, and he if you when you learn about him in the manga, he's an interesting guy. There's some interesting stuff going on with him. Easily my favorite character in My Hero Academia, especially considering like what he might add to the story and what like might go on surrounding him because 
you know, I'm not going to say nothing, but stuff is tough for Hawks. Um, so I want to believe that because Hawks is going to be in the movie, because Deku is going to have his, uh, well, because, well, I, I, I could talk about this stuff. It's in the posters, and you guys are going to watch the movie if your anime only is right. Like, I'm not crazy. So Deku obviously has new gloves in the poster and in the trailer. Um, so I'm, I'm, just like how they added Deku with his uh, shoot style into One's Justice 1 as DLC, I wonder if they'll do that with Deku with his Air Force gloves um, for DLC for... I like that they're called Air Force gloves, by the way. Horikoshi is definitely getting in his bag with a little uh, Nike reference. He really did call Deku's gloves the Air Force. That's funny. Um, the Air Force gloves. And technically, they're, they're Air Force Mark 1s, right? So Deku is always keeping his Air Force 1s on him. Um, so we're going to get Air Force Deku, I would imagine. Mirio, the big three. Uh, Lock Rock, maybe? No, how would that work? That'd be a really interesting pick. Um, and I just hope that Hawks is in it. I hope that more of the 1A students are in it, you would assume, because we didn't quite have all of 1A. Um, maybe throw some 1B students in there. I know, I, now, we all, look, that's the thing that we all know isn't going to happen, 1B students making it into the game, uh, until 1's Justice 3, when we get the, the pro training, the pro heroes arc, and the, they'll probably also save Hawks for that, too, like, if we're going to get a third one. Um, but... Yeah, I'm upset because I know everyone would love, not everyone, but a lot of people would love to see maybe some of the 1B characters in. Maybe Monoma, maybe uh, uh, just there's there's a few of them that definitely would be in that I'm just drawing a blank right now because I'm, I'm recording and I'm going, over, I'm going over the time that I thought I would record because I'm, remember, I'm, I'm on the rush to the airport. Um, but yeah, One's Justice 2, let me know all the characters. I need you guys in the comment section. This is what I need. Let me know all of the characters that you guys want in the game that you guys reasonably by the way think could be in the game uh pretty much everything up to the at, at most i think this season because last season i thought the season was going to end right where mirio sticks his face out of the garbage can well out of the wall while deku's taking out the trash my calculation because I, I had to do like before the season calculation to plan videos and sorts of stuff for where the season was going to end was like that's where it was going to end so the season actually did end up going like two or so more episodes more than I thought it was going to go on and covered a few more things. And if that's the case again, like if they really do find a way to compact all the fights and all the things that happen in this arc together and the, the performance and everything, if they really do find a way to compact that all together so that we get the Endeavor arc, uh, the Pro Heroes arc, which is very, very short, keep in mind. it's it, it would probably be two episodes. It would probably be two or three episodes at most. Um, it would most likely be two episodes, two or three episodes. Um, but yeah, if they somehow squeeze that in there, like we could definitely see some of that material in the game. That's another thing that would be massive as a boss battle. Um, because if you just do the two, I don't know. I, I feel like if you just do a story mode, but I guess if they redo the entire story, include like if they do the other seasons, like what are the chances, what are the chances that we get the sports festival in the story mode, right? Like, do you think that they would retroactively go back and cover stuff that they they didn't really have a, ch uh, a chance to do correctly in the first game. Because I think it would be cool. I mean, who, who, who is it in Japan that makes these decisions to not do these things, right? Like, any one of us here that ran Bandai or ran this company, wouldn't we be like, hey, yeah, we'll give you extra time if you need it. Uh, uh, and if you want to give everyone their sports festival outfits, that'd be nice. You know what I mean? Just extra costumes and stuff. Because if you're going to do the sports festival, I just feel like they wouldn't give them their costumes in multiplayer because they're weird. Um, I don't know. And I feel like they already have certain stuff like that. Like, there's definitely a customizable aspect to the game. But I just feel like there's more that can be done. And I hope that it's capitalized on with this one. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing this. I did, I think, one or two One Justice videos on the channel. And they were really well received. I think everyone really liked them. So let me know if you guys want me to do a, What do you want me to do? Like a walkthrough or a stream or just funny videos of me playing online? Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do something like that. Uh, let's set a like goal, maybe. Uh, get me to like... Give me the 4,000 likes. 4,000 likes and uh, I'll do a whole One's Justice story playthrough if it's not comic strips. And at the very least, I'll make sure to be consistent on recording or maybe streaming or something. But I, I need to know if you're interested. So that's all the stuff that we have to talk about. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss my flight. But I have a couple more things to talk about, like the poster and other things. So let's see if I can get it out. I love you guys so much. It's Pineapple.